Africa's final run, but we will kindly ask that you stop it here so we can continue with the event. I would like to stand on the existing protocol to say thank you very much for joining us tonight to honor our king, his wife. And the sister in our government of the Board of School, the Royal Majesty of 2472 the second. Tanika, yes, or the Board of School. A real call on the 26th of April, 1999. He became the system of occupants of the Board of School. Tonight, we are here. For the history, making the history alive. It's a wonderful night. But risky. And the second party tonight is also. You all look beautiful and handsome. It's amazing. The blend of culture. The blend of emergency. Thank you so much. Shall we now resume our seats? Thank you so much.
Round of applause for Olivia. Thank you so much, Olivia. Now, why don't you invite the Minister of the Communication and the Improvisation, Honorable Asla Oso Kufu MP for Ablekuma West, to hand over the golden key to her to open what is ever in this box. Let's see your feeling. Of a Saturday evening, come and bring him A round of applause for our distinguished and honorable Minister of Communication. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I need to commend everyone here because indeed you are the first audience in this magnificent edifice. Today, history has been made. The father you are here as a first beneficiary of the two four or saint to the second Jubilee Hall makes it history. A round of applause for yourself. Tonight, we stand witness to the tapestry of gratitude of our king, His Royal Majesty Otto Fall II, the second, who for 25 remarkable years has led the Ashanti Kingdom with wisdom, dignity, and humility. On behalf of the Silver Jubilee Planning Committee, the Ghana Post, the Ministry of Communication and Digitalization, it's a pleasure to welcome you to this spectacular cocktail to launch the Santa Hede commemorative stop. Perhaps old age is taking a shine away. I can't remember the last time you wrote a letter, went to the post office, bought a postage stamp, post a letter to a loved one. I don't know the last time you did that. Not even the Minister of Education. Not even him. But tonight, we will rekindle our passion of letter writing. We will rekindle our emotions, put them on paper, buy postage stamp, and post letters to our loved ones. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kwame Adikra, and now assist me to welcome the chairman of the Silver Jubilee Committee. He happens to be the chairman of the Council of State and Almighty of Asante Drummond, Nana Otto Shebo II, for the opening remarks. A round of applause for.
in particular the Minister of Education, the Minister of Digitalization and Communication, Niga, Ni Teiko to the second government chair, His Lordship, the immediate past Chief Justice of the Republic of Ghana, the Board and Management of Ghana Post, Nananum, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Otum 4 Osei Tutu II Silver Jubilee Planning Committee, I have the singular honor and pleasure to welcome you all to this evening's event, the first ever to be held in the grandeur of this great royal hall. Almost three weeks ago, Otum 4 presented this magnificent edifice to Asante Mine to commemorate his 25 years reign on the Golden Stool. By our custom and tradition, the first act that should follow such a presentation is a presentation of drinks to the donor to seal the offer. And this ceremony is normally referred to as what you say, and I say, what's the puzzle? By Ghana Post performing the first act in this hall of presenting a commemorative stamp to a tomb for, they have indeed given a figurative and literal meaning to the word stamp. And we thank you very much for that. When Ghana Post made the presentation to the Tomb for Silver Jubilee Committee to launch a commemorative stamp in honor of Tomb for as part of the anniversary celebrations, we accepted it without blinking an eye. As it resonated with 25 years of local and global impact. We were particularly impressed with the following features of the program. One, the design concepts and guidelines were indeed veritable snapshots of a tomb force activities, progress and achievements over the past 25 years, both locally and globally. The wide range of terms stamp types, from the conventional standard stamp to the modern crypto stamp, of which I have no idea. And finally, the immortalization of the legacy of a tomb for, long after the joy and pleasant excitement of the festivities of the celebrations. Our only worry, however, was whether they could pull it off before the peak of the celebration, that is the 12th of May. We congratulate Ghana Post for their tenacity for making the launch possible with the time frame that we gave them. <laughs> Obo, the CEO, has indeed lived up to his appellation that he is indeed, indeed a hard rock, Obo Tenzim. And we also thank the board for ably supporting him to chalk this achievement. We thank you all for honoring our invitation at the expense of other equally demanding social and private engagements. We hope that you find the evening's activities both rewarding and stimulating and entertaining. I hope that from here, you will embellish your CVs by saying that we are one of the first people to be present when Utum Force Golden Jubilee Stool, Golden Jubilee Hall had its first function. Thank you very much for coming, thank you. Another big round of applause for the chairman.
for the Silver Jubilee Planning Committee, the Omahine of Asante Jobin, Nana Otto Sebo. Nana, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that incisiveness. But indeed, you are not the only one. I've had a chat with Obo telling me, educating me about the crypto stamp. Yes, I'm not all that old, but I'm telling you, I still do not understand what it means by crypto stamp. Tonight, we will all see and will experience what crypto, but our lender this is the first time in Africa. A round of applause for His Majesty. First time in Africa. We'd like to say a big thank you to Telecel, MTN, the Bank of Ghana, AT, PMMC, Bust, Ecoban, GCB, Ghana Gas, Goyle, the National Service Secretariat, Hawaii, GNPC, of course, ADB, and the Ghana Free Zone Authority. Tonight is a melange of cocktail, grill, and music. Shall we enjoy some music?
About 184 years ago, Roland Hill, a social reformer, campaigned for the first postage stamp to be issued. Before then, Britain tended to rely on recipients making payments for meals on receipt and merchants in the late 1600s marked by various stories and images that reflected the colonial power of Then came the issue in March 1957 that independence and has issued several commemorative stamps throughout history. One of course has been printing stamps since the colonial days when the post office was first being managed by the colonial masters. When that was the independence, there was a postal stamp on the declaration of independence. Now, postal stamps come in two forms. We have both the definitive stamps and the commemorative stamps. The definitive stamps are the stamps that are used for your everyday postage. Aside that, there's also the commemorative stamps. And commemorative stamps are stamps that are usually used to mark occasions or celebrate an anniversary or to also celebrate some personalities. There have been several commemorative stamps that have been issued. When you come to Ghana, there have been commemorative stamps that have marked Aside from the creation of independence, there's been commemorative stamps on Kwan and Koma. There's been commemorative stamps on the different presidents that have been in Ghana, on the different heads of states. There's been different commemorative stamps that have been issued to honor them and also to celebrate them. There's been commemorative stamps on some key personalities like some chiefs. So there's been a commemorative stamps during the reign of also in Ghana, there's been commemorative stamp on women achievers. And so the very first female judge in Ghana, Ani Ajayi, there was a stamp on her personality. There's been commemorative stamps on Yas Antoa. If you go internationally, there's been commemorative stamps on Queen Elizabeth, where she celebrated her hundred years on the throne. There's also been commemorative stamps that's been issued on different personalities. Also, there's been commemorative stamps on some festivals. So stamps have been used as a major tool for tourism promotion and also as a tool of telling history. And these stamps have become collector's items, some have become souvenirs that have been passed on from generation to generation and from time to time. Today's history is calling again with and gold plated frames that symbolizes unity, strength, harmony, and fortitude of the Ashanti Kingdom under the reign of His Royal Majesty Otufo Osei II. The second. Nana Post, as the designated postal services provider for Ghana, decided to collaborate with the Ministry of Communication and Digitalization and the Office of the President, and of course, some additional partners, including GCB, Goyal, and Ghana Gas, to honor Otofo Osei to Abedu on his marking of the 25th anniversary of his occupancy of the Golden Stool as Asante Hene, with the Asante Hene commemorative stamp. Now, the Asante Hene commemorative stamp is a special stamp project that comes in different forms. And we're also going to have the crypto stamp. Throughout Africa, there's never been a crypto stamp. And in the stamp world, the crypto stamp is the new stamp that is in gold. And so, Otunfo's stamp becomes the very first crypto stamp to have been released on the continent of Africa. Now, apart from the crypto stamp, there's also the royal stamp frame. The royal stamp frame is a stamp that people will acquire, people will keep in their offices, they will keep in their homes. It's a frame of a stamp that the 24 to has endorsed. We are also going to release a set of postcards. Now, these postcards will be packaged in a set of 10. People can buy them in bulk 
and people coming to decide to buy them individually as different postcards. The O2 for commemorative stamp marks His Royal Majesty's 25 years ascension to the Ashanti throne and will be etched in history as a celebration of rich culture, heritage and tradition. Long live the king, long live Ashanti man and long live our beloved nation, Ghana. Sighted and excited and excited. Thank you so much. Another round of applause for that beautiful documentary highlighting the history of our postage stamp. You know, when we were growing up, they used to be the small one. It has this minty taste. You use a small saliva and then you fix it there. And we used to have something that we call the email. I don't know how many of you do remember the emails, you know. The boys' schools sometimes. They have some of the old ladies in St. Louis, Yasatoa, and they will write to you with their emails and all that. Fantastic. Tonight, they're going to write letters. <laughs> so take a pen and paper because we're going to write letters. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, ever since he assumed their office as the managing director of Ghana Post, it has been phenomenal. Your Royal Majesty Otufo Asante II, the second king of the great Asante Kingdom, chairman of the Silver Jubilee Planning Committee, other among here in this auditorium, my beautiful Minister of Communications and Digitalization, the Honorable Esla Urusu Bekufu, the Minister of Education, Honorable Yama Sejicho. I almost forget my mommy. The beautiful Lady Julia, Her Royal Highness, board members of Ghana Post, the members of the Postal and Courier Regulation Commission, my regulators, CEOs present, all protocol observed. Nananon, Today, being Saturday the 4th of May, will go down in history as a very important and historic day in the annals of the Republic of Ghana and also in the annals of Ghana Post as we make history together with the Universal Postal Union, especially the Consultative Committee, who have partners us on this historic project. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today, we will be unveiling the Silver Jubilee Anniversary Stamps of Otunfo or 82. I am exceedingly happy that this historic event is happening at a period that I am the Managing Director of Ghana Post, offering me the opportunity to bring my hardworking team to be part of this momentous occasion. I would like wholeheartedly to sincerely thank God for making this day possible and making me such a lucky managing director. I would like to also thank my honorable minister who have been showing leadership throughout this entire project. Your Royal Highness, Your Majesty, almost everybody who is here today came on the invitation of my minister. Honorable Minister, thank you for the invitations. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Your Royal Majesty of 2472, this 25th anniversary, this 25th anniversary caught the attention of Ghana Post last year when the Stamp Advisory Board of Ghana Post came up with the idea that we should honor our great king with a stamp on his 25th anniversary. And the board, under the able leadership of Mr. George F.S.D. Hayford, endorsed it. And since then, we have had no sleep, but we've been working tirelessly on making this day possible. 
and we thank God that today has finally come. We took immediate steps to contact the Global Postal Services Umbrella, the Universal Postal Union, where they made us work closely with the consultative committee who are represented today in our midst by Mr. Michael Donner. Mr. Michael Donner, if you in the audience, please stand up and let's acknowledge you. Mr. Michael Donner, representing the Universal Postal Union from the consultative committee. This Asantekne 25th International Commemorative Stamp reflects the status of global legendary status of our great king, Otun Tonight, we'll be unveiling five different stamps, as the documentary said. We'll be unveiling a definitive stamp, which is meant for postage. We'll also be unveiling the crypto stamp, the almighty crypto stamp, which is a collector's item that can be traded as an NFT on the international crypto market, the international NFT stamp market. And this is the first time this is happening in Africa. The Royal Majesty tonight will also be having a VIP stamp collection with authentication as a limited collector's item. We'll also be having the Royal Stamp Frame, which is a frame that would have a 20 grams of gold installed in the frame. The Royal Majesty would also be unveiling 12 different postcards which will be sold in sets for people to acquire. I wish to thank the Board of Ghana Post for your strength and support throughout the period. The Union of Ghana Post very, very supportive in this agenda. When we decided to go on this journey, they were with us. The entire management of Ghana Post they are also here. My regional heads are here. I like to acknowledge all the regional heads of Ghana Post. This is a big deal for Ghana Post. And so all our GMs, all our regional heads are all here because we know that today we are putting Ghana Post also into the annals of history. Your Royal Majesty, I wish to also appreciate the members of the Silver Jubilee Planning Committee. They worked with us countless meetings, back and forth on the designs, the pictures, until we were clear that these were images of Yehura that the world must see and tell. Your Highness, Your Majesty. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,